What's going on, everybody? Doc, Average Gamer Guys, back yet again. More Escape from Tarkov hardcore action. So, I'm filming this one a day after filming of the last episode, and I am still absolutely geeked on uh, that final raid. So, let me show you here. We were able to get it fitted. Uh, we made it all pack in here. <laughs> Here's the blackjack. We kept the RSAS. We did move some things around. We obviously sold a whole bunch of stuff. We're sitting on a ton of things, but uh, weapons, we got some weapons. So uh, really good progress. I'm very happy about that. I want to show off some tasks really quick. Um, this is again, our weekly. So we'll see if we can run across the chainlets. They're not super hard to find. I need four more. That'd be kind of cool to get that done. I am going to go in and actually turn these classic matches in mostly just because we get a matches back and the rubles and the experience will be really good plus the jaeger rep is actually really nice so we're gonna go do that here in just a second these are my dailies we are gonna definitely head to customs today um that's probably gonna be the first raid that we jump into and i have a smuggler's boat extract so we'll see if we can do that and then killing scaz with left right arm or leg shots is really interesting the cool part about this would be as i would love to actually get this rfb this would be a great gun uh, to be able to use so we'll see if we can't get that done it is 12 scavs that's a lot but we also need to kill some scavs for both shootout picnic uh as well as tough guy on woods so this actually works out really nicely we'll be able to stack up a couple of quests so let me quickly go do this one with jaeger because we have them already so this is an easy win for us we'll take that again nice rubles nice experience we are making our way towards level 17, which once we hit this, we actually get uh, to open up some interchange quests. So I'm going to try to get through that, and then that way our interchange runs will be a little bit more beneficial uh, as we jump into them. With all that being said, we're headed to customs first. We're going to try to get delivery from the past done. So let's get to some raids. Customs. Let's go. I didn't realize it was raining. Not ideal. So, <clears throat> shitty part is smuggler's boat isn't going to be open for us. I'm going to go in here. Let's see. I'm going to let that die down. You don't need to do much fighting. I need to get into the director's office. Morphine, yeah. Should actually probably start hanging onto the baklavas. Unfortunately, smugglers boat won't be an option for us this raid. That's just a hell of a shot. TVP starting early. Throw this at ya. That was a nice shot. I'm pretty happy <laughs> with that, I'm not gonna lie. The question is, was he alone? And 
also, where the fuck did that scab go? That was a thousand times. <laughs> Scab walk back in there. One thing I have not been doing a lot <clears throat> this uh this go around well really two things. I haven't been hitting a ton of filing cabinets. I also have not been hitting I'm gonna keep the pressure gauge for now. I have also not been hitting jackets very much. To pick up some keys. I need 114. There's a chainlet. That's cool. So I need to start doing that, I think. I need to start. That was back there. I'm not the biggest fan of being trapped in here. That was that was back there. I don't like my position here very much. This is two players fighting. Or a player and a Player scav? A P scav already? Bro, come on. That can't be, that can't be right, guys. We're... I mean, I get, I don't, that's...
This is crazy to me, dude. That doesn't seem right. I need the pistol grip. It just, it's just—we're not that many minutes into this raid, you know. Like, that peace gav fighting players already is crazy to me. Just a little maintenance here. This guy is gonna probably have a gun or something we want to take. That's almost empty. I'll take this PPSH if I can, if it has a couple of mags. Definitely want to hang on to the ears with the power cord up there. Honestly, we can attach this to this. Get rid of that. So we get rid of those two rounds. Go something like this. What is happening? That's another peace scav. Like, bro, come on. Yeah, hello, keys, thank you. I guess I take this now. This guy's got a PPSH too. little guy didn't even loot anything little bud I hate to do this but What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I just can't believe there's another piece scab there already. Crazy. Looting my kill. Get here. I 
this key sells really well. Do I have a 214 key? What do I need less? Just in case, I don't need gas station office key. It's a good key. We'll definitely hang on to it if we can. But in comparison, I don't need it. Taking the diary because I can sell that to the skier man. All right, let's get our quest item here. Oh, we should look inside. Yep. Just in case, Intel. All right, let's check some computers. Let's survive here would be nice. I actually need caps. I need caps for in the upgrade. There's a lot of shooting going on. Which then begs the question, where do I go from here? Oh. I need to get this GPU out of here. In these keys. I could paint up. I've heard action like all over, so. Just gotta try to hope a little bit. But there's nobody up here. I feel like I just heard running. Definitely be scavs. We've been in this raid for a while, actually, now I'm realizing this. It's so funny. I have better luck finding GPUs in computers on hardcore than I do on my main account. Hilarious. <sighs> oh, 
Boy. Don't need any more hunter matches. Try, I'm trying my best here to take a more, just a different path. Just mix it up. I actually think I need duct tapes. I need helixes. I need packs of screws. Let me dodge something over there. There was definitely a lot of fighting on the other side of the bridge, so. Hop into the pipe here, into the ditch. I'm just gonna round out the back and hope, hope old gas is open for us. I don't see 13 switch on, so we don't have our factory exit key either, even if it was. Hopefully going path of least resistance here. Quick Rochelle and the boys check. Did just hear some shots. Do I need the blue tape? I don't think so. hit really hoping old gas is open for us if not we're going all the way to 11 Doesn't look like it. Hoping that's hoping that's the running I was hearing. wasn't. Oh, 
I fucking killed him. This fucking raid. Oh, okay, guy in the tea bags. Get out of here with that. Fuck it, come on. That's not on. That guy's right there. Got to go quick here. Good part is we're not too heavy to recover stam on our with our walk, so. Toolbox not hit. I gotta try to hit this and the scav. I don't have to. Try to make a run for it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was <laughs> huge. I'm very surprised that I killed this guy with that last tap. Um, I did not think I did. I thought he continued to run. I thought he got away, but we got some, <laughs> some nice little headshots here. Unfortunately, I didn't kill any scav in any way that beneficial, but honestly, that doesn't even matter. Um, huge. That's a huge raid. Huge huge all right so here's just uh it's it's an awesome loot haul absolutely awesome we got a couple of things that we're going to be able to sell uh we make a little bit of money a couple of things that we're going to be able to sell we pick up some really good keys which i actually don't know if i have i'll take a look here 204 and 214 are really big um that's just gonna make it 
a little bit more accessible to get into dorms to be able to run that the golden skull is really big we pick up a handful of really good guns i actually be able to use this adar i think pretty effectively when we head to woods here obviously we get another found and raid gpu <laughs> It is just that's two so we have two of the three if we can make our way to that mechanic quest we have two of the three that we need already um and there is a reward for one i think through a jaeger quest so i can almost kind of count that as complete which is awesome um we get three player kills caps we actually need the keck tape is really nice too we get some ap rounds which we probably will hang on to them. I doubt we end up using a SIG at any point, but it's not the most uncommon weapon uh, to find in a stash. And then again, we get a PPSH and an MP5, uh, both of which, when we're low on uh, our luck, we've got some extra guns. The problem ends, ends up being, again, is I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all this stuff. Um, we did pick up a better rig. So the azimuth actually should be able to help us a little bit as far as uh storage space so we'll see if we can get some things figured out there i'm i'm pumped this is like uh just another good raid another good raid in the books here's the other really cool part we're gonna get over the two and a half mil so now we can put some progress on actually getting uh our stash upgraded to level two which will be a huge quality of life improvement so um we're gonna get situated I got to figure out if I want to go to factory <laughs> to get delivery from the past done. Um, I'm going to think on it. One of two things is going to happen. We're either going factory to get this complete or uh, we'll run into, uh, we'll run over and start getting some things on woods complete. So I will decide as I unpack wherever we go. We'll see you in the next raid. All right. Good factory spawn. Good factory spawn. Good factory spawn. Please, please, please. I need office kills.
he's in the safe area. Oh, the pistol grip. I need the pistol grip. This is gunsmith right here. If I get this out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Vaseline. Nice. Let's go! All of the quest progress. <laughs> we killed... I don't... That guy must be leveling up his... Uh, uh, vitality or whatever. That Because he's just like running into the <laughs> fence to kill himself. Uh, whatever. I don't think it counted. God, he was high! I was... <laughs> level player <laughs> oh my gosh hey whatever do we get any scavs headshot headshot and thorax no fortunately no, no scavs the way that we needed them all right so this was the quick loot haul um we we grabbed what we could and we we got out which was smart the best part here we grabbed the pistol grip here so i'm gonna take a second um, to see if I can get that task done. Again, I'm gonna have a problem because of space, but I should be able to get enough stuff. Um, what we'll do here, I just want to make sure I'm gonna need to do the trade for this. Okay, so we have this trade. This will give us the 133, because I don't think this, no, this is a 153. Um, so what we'll be able to do, we'll be able to trade these things out. I'll be able to trade for that shotgun. The pistol grip is right there. Uh, and then I have basically the other parts inside of here. I have the cylinder and uh, the GK12, GK2. So uh, I should be able to go and get that done and we can get our first mechanic quest complete. In addition here, well, we'll turn them in at the same time. So quick break, be right back. Okay, so jumping back in, we are able to get it done. So here's the build on this thing. And the beautiful part again is when you do that trade with mechanic, um, you don't need a lot of additional parts. Now you do need this GK2. Uh, I believe actually that yes, this Remington. So it used to be this one. You used to be able to use that, but with the modification changes, you basically need the cylinder attachment, okay? And this GK02. The beautiful part though, is you get the extended mag. Uh, you actually get the foregrip and the rail by doing that trade. So all you really need is these two items and then the pistol grip, obviously. Uh, and then a laser. You can use anything that has a laser on it. Uh, the Nick Star is a great option for that. And I like how they did this. It says, you know, you can see here, item fits uh, the active gunsmith part one quest requirements. So we know that we're gonna be able to turn this one in. So let's go ahead, turn that in. That's really huge, actually. Very, very happy we're able to get this done. Um, it opens up a lot more quests, which is great. <laughs> Absolutely great. So we get gunsmith part two. Well, we'll work on doing that. We get farming. So now we can go back into factory and get those done. And then we have gunsmith part three for the MP5. Now, actually, I'm wondering, I don't think I have the MP5 mag. I think that's the only thing I'm missing is the meganine to be able to do that. But we're close on that. Um, I may actually also have, I actually don't think I do. I don't think I have, I have a B10. You need a B11 to be able to do uh, Gunsmith Part 2. But here's the beautiful part. This is going to free us up just a bit of space. Because I'm going to be able to throw these up here. Um, I wonder if this would actually work. I'll need to take a look. You don't have to be as prescriptive uh, with some of the things. Um as that says in the wiki, but it is a really good, it, it's a great reference to be able to follow, uh, to be able to make sure that you get those things upgraded as you needed. So the beautiful part here, 
mechanic mechanic actually gives you some goods he gives me an ak i'm definitely gonna put this away i really like this vpo too we'll have to make sure that we can hang on to that uh quest progress wise i need to go and we got delivery from the paste complete which is awesome we get bp depot now we can go into customs and start getting some things marked we may go back there because i would really like to get these m62 rounds we can get an exit through smugglers boat would be great we get some fuel we get a couple other things we actually get the markers up front for this one which would be really nice ragman pumps us up because we got enough experience we get to 17 now all of the stuff we do in interchange is gonna matter beautiful part killing scavs is gonna be great and we need to hit these oh that's huge that's huge this is huge actually um does this gives us a lot more flexibility for getting some some things complete which is really really nice we'll make a bunch more money here this is awesome i don't think i have space for the gun bullets but we'll definitely take that saiga is actually pretty useful um we could uh we're probably gonna go ahead and just sell this thing though yeah we're gonna sell that we're gonna sell that we're definitely gonna sell that yeah then mr ragman he hooks us up with some more cash we'll get to there and then we get a commando rig as well We've got a lot of stuff now to pick up i am i'm pumped this is great and the beautiful part is <laughs> that guy was close enough to the factory office area where this actually counted so <laughs> I got one of six uh, for doing that, which I'm like freaking pumped about. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have to just keep recording. I think I have time. I'm gonna run into another customs raid. We've got the build on that we want. I can go and start to get a couple of things done for BP Depot here. Um, transparently, I'm gonna throw a couple of the markers into my container. I know that's not... Uh, well, nah, we'll probably just keep them in our rig because it's just going to cost us money is really all that's going to do if we end up dying because we can buy as many of these as we need. Um, Yeah, I got to look out for the MP5 mag and we got to look out for a B11, but I actually think we can get this done pretty quick if we can find the B11 foregrip. So, and then heading back to factory, we can do some tool sets here, uh, which is not a bad idea either. We got a lot to be able to do now. I'm, I'm actually very excited to be able to mix this up. So we're going to sell some things. We're going to go back to customs. Let's mark some stuff. See you in the red. Customs, baby. Oh, I didn't get a smugglers. I didn't get the smugglers. I don't know. Someone can spawn back here. Buckets of two. instantly dead oh how do i not kill that guy <sighs> 46 second raid i only hit him one time <sighs> that's sad that's interesting that uh <clears throat> those guys could spawn there like that those guys I had no idea was there. I definitely could have tried to creep up and uh, see what we get here. So let's do this. I'm going to get some more markers. Maybe we just run a cheeky shotgun here. Like we run just a cheeky shotgun raid. <clears throat> low gear. We don't need to go low gear. 
Got plenty of gear. However, I think we're going to run a low gear one. We'll just grab some markers. I'm going to grab this best rig. Little rag main. And uh, yeah, we'll give that one more try. Seeing another customs raid. All right. We need to spawn on the other side of the map, please. Nope. <laughs> this is not what we needed. We're going to end up getting into some more PvP here, undoubtedly. Just trying to get some markers placed. <laughs> he has a nice shotgun. So, so the shitty part about this is my leg is blacked. <laughs> so we're the hobble boys now. <laughs> God dang it. We upgraded gear very fast. I said, what are you doing over here? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to find a CMS ASAP. I'm going to load this up just so that this is a six shot. It's really unfortunate he blacked my leg. And I didn't bring better pain meds with me. This is going to just crush my hydration. <laughs> What's so unfortunate about that is I destroyed this guy. Oh, he's so close to dead. Look at the hit count. <laughs> How is that guy not dead? Oh my god. Oh, come on. I headshot this guy, but I did a ton of damage to him beforehand. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> We really don't lose a whole lot there. 856A1 in the... Why am I getting legged, bro? That's the leg that was... 
Jesus, God dang it. That's the leg that that guy took out. If that, mm, that's, mm, that is unfortunate. I thought it might be a scav. Oh, well. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, yeah. That is unfortunate. We don't lose a whole lot there. I'm honestly, that's all of that is okay. I just wish I would have had, if I have a Vaseline, that, that raid ends up being a little bit different. Um, we're going to get, uh, we're going to get queued back up here. Uh, I'm going to wrap this. I think this has been long enough. I took a ton of time to figure out the stash, uh, after that first raid. So hopefully this episode isn't too long or too short, but I think it'll probably, uh, be at the sweet spot ton of progress really happy with it i do wish we would have been able to get at least this out uh but i think i'm gonna record another episode like right after this so uh i'm gonna try to keep working customs a bit here uh, we didn't get any scabs <laughs> in the leg uh and if we can find the chainlets this would be pretty cool too um the rewards aren't great but the experience would be really nice to keep propelling us forward we have a lot of options of things to do we can jump into factory actually and we may do that uh, to be able to get uh, farming done so we want to be able to do that I am desperately looking to continue hideout progress that is obviously the goal at least my goal of this hardcore series is to continue this and get this as upgraded as possible a big thing here is going to be we need the stash so I need four more packs of screws four and we get it we got everything else we got the monies we need only again a handful of other things to get some stuff upgraded. We need security to go up. We need some wires there. We can get the wires pretty easily. We need this brick of TNT. We could find that. We need one cricket to get heating up. That's it. So we have a lot on tap uh, to be able to get done here and uh, just need to hopefully find some items, get a little lucky and uh, be able to get out. But again, we'll wrap this one up here. Really great episode. Lots of quest progress done. Got delivered from the past done in one shot, which is can be a, definitely a challenge, but very happy to be able to knock that out. In addition to getting Gunsmith Part 1 done, uh, that opens up again a nice additional track of things for us to be able to do. So looking forward to uh, continuing some progress with Mr. Mechanic and getting some things going there. Again, wrapping it up. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the channel. If you're tuning into the episodes and uh, you've been really consistent, thank you so much. If this is one of your first, enjoy the series. we got a lot more coming. And uh, again, we just continue uh, the, appreciate the continued support. Click on the video, hitting that like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff really does help us. We do have some subscriber goals for the year. Trying to hit that 10K or above mark. So if you want to be a part of that, hit the button subscribe we'd really appreciate it especially if you're joining the series and you're watching it and you're not subscribed just you know click that for us please please anyways um we do also stream over on twitch fridays and saturdays 8 30 eastern standard time randomly throughout the week when we can and uh, that link is in the description if you want to check that out we got a discord we got a twitter as well so give us some follows over on our socials discord stay up to date with the channel always post when we're going live some of the fun stuff that we're doing over on twitch we'll do this account uh, but a lot of times we're just running our main on our grind to Kappa. So if you want to come hang out with us, ask us any questions, especially if you're curious about hardcore or running uh, just solo or you're new, uh, we definitely are there to help you out. In addition to that, if you're a longtime gamer and you just want to chat Tarkov or some other games, we'd welcome you by. We'd love to be able to do that. So that being said, I've been Doc. We are the Average Gamer Guys. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next Escape from Tarkov hardcore episode. Peace. <laughs>